Hello guys and welcome to Never Stomp the Vague Computers and Technology. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 21 watt portable solar charger from EC Technology. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a curveball today because I've never really looked at a, a portable 5 volt USB solar charging product like this. So I'm probably going to get one or two things wrong. If you notice something uh, that's weird or doesn't really sound right, go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. So first off, I'm going to pull this thing out of the box. Uh, we will actually test this out. I'll take it outside. And I do have some experience with solar panels. Uh, I built a 100 watt solar system out back to run the PyTop Seed um, and a couple other devices like some LED lights. Um, and I can tell you right off the bat that this 21 watt rating probably isn't 100% true. Um, that's probably an absolute, absolute best case scenario. So we're probably not gonna be seeing 21 watts output from this. Um, we might, you know, I, I might be wrong about that and it might prove me wrong uh, as this review goes on, but yeah, I don't know about that number. Um, by the way, this is currently 45 bucks off Amazon. The link will be down in the description. So let's go ahead, kick things off and take this thing out of the box. So pull this back. There we go, we have the uh, EC Technology Portable Solar Charger. So I'm just gonna take this out. Um, looks like it's wrapped up in this package and it is, you know, it's actually really compact, really small. Uh, this is something that you could just throw into your backpack and carry it around, it's light. Um, it does feel pretty durable as well. I'm trying to flex it here. Um, yes, the outer casing is cloth, but it is reinforced by some sort of plastic inside. Let's go ahead and open this up because I am curious. All right. So it looks like we have some protection over the panel. So just pull that stuff off. And these appear to be uh, monocrystalline panels. And that makes sense for an application like this. Uh, monocrystalline panels uh, tend to be a bit more efficient per square meter. Now, as you can see on each side, we have two loopholes. These are gonna allow you to mount this to something like a backpack or maybe strap it onto the side of the tent. Pretty much anything that you could tie this to, you can mount it to. Uh, really flexible design there. If we open up this pouch, you can see the USB hub. This is where you're gonna plug in your device, phone, tablet, battery pack, etc., etc. And there's also some space in here to store something. So maybe you have a portable uh, external battery pack. You just take it and toss it in here and it does Velcro shut. This decal right here reminds me of a common misconception I should probably address. Keep in mind that these are solar panels and they do need direct sunlight to generate any sort of usable power. Do not listen to the reviews on Amazon that give this thing five stars just because it puts out five volts when it's cloudy out. That means absolutely nothing. Yes, if you hook it up to a multimeter and look at the reading when it's cloudy out, it will probably say, you know, around five volts, maybe 4.9 volts or something like that. But that is not indicative of how much power this thing actually outputs. All right, you need to consider current as well. And when it's cloudy out, when this thing is not in direct sunlight, you'll be lucky if it puts out a couple hundred milliamps. Uh, and that's, you know, maybe it'll put out a watt or two. That's that's about it. Do not expect miracles from this thing in indirect sunlight, uh, you know, in shade from trees or anything like that that. So far, first impressions are pretty good. Overall, I like the construction and design of this portable solar charger. Uh, I am kind of iffy about the coating they have over the cells. It, it's kind of opaque. Um, I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. I mean, it feels it feels really, really durable, um, but it doesn't look like it's letting too much light through. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close this up. We'll take a look at the other items inside the box. I'll pull it back over here and I, I didn't close that right. That's okay. Uh, so it looks like we have a micro USB cable right here. It is approximately 33 inches in length. Uh, we have a user manual to go along with that. And that's it as far as the contents of the uh, solar charger box is concerned. Now this isn't really part of the review, so you can skip this if you want. Uh, but they also sent over a power bank to go along with the solar charger. You do not need a power bank in order to use the solar charger. You can use the solar charger all by itself. All you have to do is plug your device in and it should charge. Uh, granted that there is enough sunlight, but I told them uh, that they could go ahead and send this over and I would do a little unboxing. So uh, this is a 5200 milliamp hour uh, battery pack. We have uh, one USB port for uh, five volt output and then one USB port. This is our input for charging. It also has a little LED light on the front and we should be able to activate that by just holding down the button and it turns into a flashlight. So it doubles as a charger and a flashlight. That's pretty cool. And overall, I don't know, quality's not bad. It actually feels like a 
pretty rugged little uh, USB portable charger. And what in the world is this? I'm not. Oh, they give. They, oh, they give you a little pa uh, pouch, really. I mean, I don't think that's necessary. It's a nice touch, but I, I would never ever use something like this. And ooh, look at that uh, uh, really, really short USB cable. That's about nine inches in length. Uh, I would have liked that they include something a little bit longer, uh, but I guess that will do the trick. Um, so once again, this really isn't the centerpiece of the review and I'm not gonna stick on it too long. Uh, but if you wanna check this thing out, the link for it will be in the description. So performance fell in line with what I was expecting. You have to keep in mind that that 21 watt rating is a best case scenario. That's like if you were testing this thing in a lab environment, my testing environment is not optimal and chances are if you're out hiking and using this thing your environment's not going to be optimal either so don't expect to get 21 watts out of this thing. At its peak, I managed to get 13 watts. On average, I got a little under 10 watts, uh, 9 to 10 watts on average. And when I just had it flat on the ground, uh, not really tilting it towards the sun, uh, I was getting about 5 watts. So on average, you're going to get about 10 watts. Best case scenario for me was 13 watts. Uh, keep in mind, it is November. And once again, my testing situation is not optimal. But chances are, your testing situation isn't going to be optimal either. Now, with with regards to the battery bank, um, I thought it would just connect as if it was a pass-through. I thought you could plug it in, uh, charge the battery bank, and charge a device at the same time, but you cannot. I tried to do that, and my phone wasn't charging, and I was like, what in the world's going on? Which led me to the discovery that this thing cannot charge a device and be charged at the same time. And it's, you know, a lot of other battery banks on the market right now uh, are the same way. I did just take my Samsung Galaxy S4 and plug it into the solar charger. Had no problem there. Charged up my phone just fine. So this thing does work. Uh, don't get me wrong. It does work. If you take this out and into the field with you, put it down, uh, it will charge a device, uh, but you're probably not going to see that 21 watt output once again as I keep reiterating throughout the video. So to sum everything up, does it work? Yes, it works. It's really easy to use. It's super portable. Love the design. All you have to do is fold it up and you're ready to go just throw in your backpack and you got your mobile charging needs covered. Now, once again, don't expect to see that 21 watt rating. That's a best case scenario. Uh, I was able to get 13 watts max. If anyone else is able to get more than 13 watts please go ahead and let me know down in the comments section that's gonna be about it for this review if you have any questions comments or concerns you can go ahead and post a comment down in the comment section don't forget to drop a like on this video if you didn't like this video please tell me why and of course uh don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not already if you want to support me you can use my amazon or ebay affiliate links both of which will be down in the description and you can also support me by checking out my patreon uh and you know what don't forget to drop a like on the facebook page that's gonna be about it for this video I will see you in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology.